Hi everyone, welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole and I'm so grateful to have you here with me today. Welcome back to the capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for all of you, all of your love, support, encouragement, likes, subscribing. Thank you all for all of this love. I really do love and appreciate all of you. I'm so grateful to be here with you helping you on your journey. I'm here healing with you as well. So we're all on this journey to become our best selves. Welcome to the new subscribers. Click subscribe if you haven't subscribed and join the Capital LLVE tribe. So today's pick a card will be about what's in, in their head versus their heart. What is going on in their head and what is going on in their heart? giving you some messages so you can find out what's going on, whatever you need to know for your journey moving forward. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three, pile one, pile two, and pile three. And I just want to say, I don't usually say these, but, um, or I don't usually say this, but spirit is calling to my attention to just say, like, if you're new to pick a cards, you may want to pause the video and just, you know, Really just take the time to see where your um, inner guidance, where your eyes, your mind, your heart, which whichever pal you are drawn to, where you, where do you feel like, you know, which pal can give you the most information or would be your pile. Now, if you pick the wrong pile, there's nothing wrong with that. Just pick another pile. If you feel like you're drawn to more than one pile, there's nothing wrong with that as well. There may be messages in both because this is a general reading. So you go with what works for you. You know yourself. Trust yourself in this process and trust where you are being led and where you are being guided. That's what this is all about, building your inner um, your intuition, your inner guidance, and trusting yourself more, trusting yourself and trusting the messages that you're hearing. So pile one, pile two, pile three, timestamps will be linked below. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E Tribe. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful to have you here with me. I hope you are well. We're going to get right to it, pile one. So we're going to start with these messages. We're going to pull some tarot as well. These are the messages that are that is in your person's head. And this is what's in your person's heart. But we're going to start here with the messages. What's going on in their head? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? What's happening in their head? How long? I'm going to get this tarot out and we're going to get these other cards. How long? What's happening in their person's head, please? Okay, so we have five of cups in reverse. We have seven of wands in reverse. And then we have Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so let me get some of these too. I just want to pull some of these as well from another deck. Pile one. Get that card. We have the World in reverse. We have Six of Six of Wands. Let's get one more. And then we have Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. All right, let's get these other cards too. Okay, we have in our core. And then that's the number 18, which are just the number nine. We also have magnetism, 37, which reduces to the number 10. And then we have 
a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. And you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. Okay, pile one. Let me see if you can see all of this. Okay, pile one. So as you can see, we have a lot of blocked energy here, especially with the tarot. Um, you know, it's a lot of reversals here. This person, from what I'm seeing, they have a lot of passion for you, a lot of passion for this connection. And this is something that's probably overwhelming them. This person is very overwhelmed by the passion, the chemistry, the magnetism that they're feeling with this connection. This connection is feeling very magnetic. This connection is feeling very fiery for them. And like I said, I'm feeling like this person is a bit overwhelmed with the passion, the magnetism. Um, it appears to me that this person is definitely thinking about you a lot. This person is, you're on this person's mind a lot. This person probably feels overwhelmed when they think about you. That's what I'm seeing here. It's overwhelming thoughts of you, overwhelming thoughts of it's a lot of passion here. It's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, and, a, and again, a lot of magnetism. There's a huge amount of attraction here. This person is definitely acknowledging that. This person definitely feels feels that passion, feels the fire. This person tries, to, excuse me. This person tries to suppress their passionate feelings and desires and. I'm feeling like they're trying to suppress these things because, again, I feel like it's overwhelming, sometimes too intense. This person, I'm feeling their energy. I feel like this person is an intense person. This person is someone who, you know, doesn't mind intensity, doesn't mind. In fact, they enjoy intensity. They enjoy passion. They enjoy magnetism. They probably feel the magical connection between you and this person because it's definitely, for some of you, this could be a telepathic connection. Um, yeah, for sure. For some of you, this definitely could be some type of, uh, there's a telepathic connection here, especially with seeing this and then the magnetism. So this definitely, you know, is, I'm feeling for many of you, this is a soulmate connection a high level spiritual connection this person for some of you you know this person i feel they're almost again it's like a very overwhelming feeling of the thoughts of you i feel like they think about you day and night you know they think about you all the time and this person like i said they try to suppress their feelings they try to push it down um i i, I am seeing that this person is trying to heal something heal some heartbreak heal some grief um they may have just broken up with someone or they may be grieving over someone's death this person is also trying to give themselves a bit more self-love right now they are working on themselves they are trying to connect with their emotions and balance their emotions because i do see here that this person I'm getting the energy that they go on an emotional roller coaster sometimes. And sometimes these thoughts about you get, you know, it gets all in their mind. And then they feel a bit impulsive or they feel like they want to do something completely out of the norm, out of the box. But then they pull themselves back. This person thinks about you in sexual terms a lot as well. And this person tries to suppress those desires uh, the sexual desires for you as well because again it's like very intense i'm getting this energy here that this person you know the way they think of you is the way they've never thought about other people this person wants to come forward with the you know opportunity or a um like this person is trying to think about how to begin again how to have a new beginning how to come forward with a new opportunity of 
a new beginning for you and this person. This person wants a new romantic cycle. They want to have something new, something fresh. They want to move this energy because like I said, this for me, this feels like very overwhelming energy. For some of you, I do see that this person may have had thoughts of giving up on this connection, giving up on the thoughts of trying to have a new beginning, trying to start again, giving up on the thoughts of can this really work? Can we really do this? Um, but then it's like, I feel that this person also is having this understanding and they're feeling like right now their faith is being tested. Their faith is being tested in some ways. This person is also concerned about their family and their loved ones. They're having, it could be some situations going on in the family right now where they're feeling a bit concerned about things with their family because you and your loved ones are safe. And the new moon in cancer that's telling me that this person could be having some family issues or there could be some you know tension or just some concerns that they're dealing with it with their family right now that you know they really have to put a lot of energy there where they don't have the energy to put elsewhere but this person is definitely thinking about you all the time you run their mind all the time like i said it's very overwhelming i feel that this person even gets frustrated sometimes because they may feel stuck they may feel trapped they may feel like you know they just want to talk to you they just want to see you they just want something to happen here but um you know this person this person you know they're still just they're really just trying to figure things out and sort through the things in their head. I do see here that, again, I do feel like this person, I feel like they want to try to, again, because this a new romantic cycle begins, this person wants to try to give this the best possible, this connection, the best possible chance that it can have. And I feel that this person realizes that in order to do that, they have to love themselves at a certain level, that they are not quite there with their level of self-love and self-worth. So they feel like, okay, if I'm going to give this, you know, pal one the best possible, you know, shot or, you know, opportunity that it deserves, I need to love myself and I need to care for myself better and I need to take care of myself. And so this person realizes that and they're in this place right now where they don't want to get too consumed, too wrapped up, too entangled in everything about you and they lose themselves. And, you know, to be fair, I feel like this person may have been there before. They may have dealt with those challenges before. So now they're like, okay, I need to do something differently. I can't do the same thing. So let me, you know, let me do things this way so things can go differently. All right, so let's get some more cards out. Let's find out what's in their heart now. Pile one, what is in their heart, please, Spirit? What is in pile one's the person's heart? Okay, so we have the tower. We have Ace of Swords. And then we have Three of Pentacles. Okay. All right, let's get some more cards out. What is in your heart? Let's unpile one this person's heart bleeds through. We have those nine of swords. I mean, Three of Swords. Four of Swords, I'm sorry. Four of Swords. Okay, we have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have Five of Wands. Okay, so we're going to talk about it in a second. Let me just hold off. Let's get the rest of the cards out before we talk about what's happening here. I, do have, I am getting a lot of messages. We have Motion Air 22, which reduces to number four. Okay, Expansion North, um, which is number one. 
And then we have the end of a tough cycle, full moon in Capricorn. And emotions are running high, super moon. Okay, so as you can see, I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages already, but as you can see, yet again, this person has a lot of feelings for you. This person has a great deal of emotions, of love, of passion. You know, I'm feeling very strongly here that, you know, this is, again, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming for this person. This person right now, I do feel for many of you, you know, it's very interesting looking at their head versus their heart. In many ways, you know, it's very similar for this pile, I would say, but this person is really just taking a time out. They feel like they just need a breather. I feel, again, I am getting the energy of, you know, this person may have been in a breakup or maybe they're doing some healing work. They're healing from something. They're either healing from past relationships or maybe someone passed away. They are healing their heart right now because the Four of Swords, that's, you know, taking a break, healing. And as you can see here, this person is resting. This is time out energy. So to me, this is saying this person is just taking a time out from all of it. They're taking a time out from their feels. They're taking a time out to just take a breather, take a rest. The end of a tough, tough cycle approaches. So this person has been having some challenges. This person has been dealing with some difficult situations. This person may have been going through a dark night of the soul. This person may have just been going through a lot of different challenges that really is taking its toll. This person though, you know, this person wants to work with you collaborate with you on something pile one um this person yeah this person i'm trying to get this to focus okay this person definitely wants to work with you on something collaborate with you of course in this image it's a sexual collaboration of course but they want to do that as well but it's something else with like this person wants to like work with you on something. I don't know, it's gonna be different for everyone, but it's like a project or something this person wants to work with you on. This person has clarity as to who you are to them. This person, for many of you, this person feels like you are a part of their destiny. They feel it in their heart. They feel like, you know, this connection, you and their connection to you is a part of their destiny, is leading them closer to, you know, being on that divine path, being, you know, facing their true north, facing, you know, um, just really being in their power. You are connected with their destiny. They feel like this is fate, okay? We saw in the other cards, the world came up, but it was in reverse. So I do feel like there is a head-heart challenge here where it's like the heart knows the truth, but the head sometimes denies the truth or tries to fight the truth. Now, with these cards, with the heart cards coming out, we definitely see this person's heart has total clarity. This person's heart has total clarity on this connection, on what this connection is. And honestly, this connection has really disrupted everything in this person's life. Okay, we have the tower card here. This, this connection is breaking down so many beliefs, breaking down so many thoughts, so many... Um, layers of programming and you know it's forcing this person this could be a twin flame connection okay because this is definitely a high level spiritual connection for many of you because this connection is breaking down so many of the things that this person once thought and once knew to be true and now this person is being forced to look at themselves this person is being forced to heal this first person is uh forced to really expand expand their awareness expand their consciousness this connection you you're forcing them to do these things so this person realizes that and this person is now able to be on that path of their destiny of their true north because of this connection and this person in their heart they know this in their heart they know this they feel this 
for some of you, this person is very possessive and jealous over you, how one. This person feels like, I feel for many of you, you know, this this connection has not had the opportunity to, you know, really ground and really like where people really know about you and this person. You take what resonates. It doesn't have to be that way. But this person is feeling like, you know, this person openly, you and this person openly announced that you two are together. There will have to this person is feeling like they will have to fight people off or they're going to have to, you know, it's almost like I'm getting this energy of you are like their little best kept secret, even though they don't want you to be a secret. Like, I don't want you to feel like this person wants to keep you in the dark or like this person doesn't want to show you off. Like, no, I definitely feel like this person does want to show you off, but there is a possessive energy here. There is a jealous energy. There is like, Power one is mine. No one else can have power one. Power one belongs to me. Like this person recognizes, they know the truth of this connection. They know that it's like, for many of you, this person feels like you're destined to be together. You're destined to be with this person. This person recognizes you have past lives together. Like they get it. In their heart, they get it. And in their heart, they want to move forward because we do have motion and we have that air. That's that clarity. That's that understanding, the knowing. So this person is very clear on this connection and who you are in their heart space. And they're also feeling again that that sense of like you belong to them and no one else. Okay, you know, that's coming through very strongly here. And, you know, for many of you, this person wants to show you off and wants to show everyone that you are theirs. But they're feeling a little like they don't know if they're ready for that because, again, they know how their emotions get. They know how they can, you know, go into jealous mode or get jealous, get angry, you know, and they don't want to be like that. I am feeling like this person wants to, you know, they may be trying to even get those feelings and thoughts under control now. That that may be some of the things that they're working on at this moment because their emotions are running high for you. It's a lot, like I said, it's not only in their head, but it's in their heart. They are all in their feels about you, pile one. They feel a lot for you. They love you very deeply. They have a lot of passion for you. And so this is felt in their heart and in their mind. And like I said, I'm getting that energy up. It's very overwhelming. Okay, so let's get some more messages. Let's get some messages from them. We're using Tipsy Tips Love Messages deck. If you would like to purchase this deck, the link is below. Look at this. I am overwhelmed by you. This is just what I was just saying. It's very overwhelming. I see God in you. It was not you. It was me. I love you. Do you love me like I love you? And I feel your love. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to get some more cards out and we're just going to do it all together. What are you up to? Big dick energy. And I'm gonna explain these. We did this before. Shine, baby, shine. Okay, let's get a couple more. Our past life drama. Lessons learned in this relationship. And we had two more actually came out. You drive me crazy. And smoke and mirrors. Okay, so pile one. This person again, like I mm -hmm. said, 
you know, they really do love you. You know, this is coming through really heavy, the amount of love that they have for you. It's, again, it's overwhelming. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of passion. You know, it's very clear. This person is saying they're overwhelmed. Um, again, their mind is overwhelmed and their heart is overwhelmed by the love. They actually, you know, I feel like, again, it's the battle again with this person with their heart and their mind. Because we see here, it says, I feel your love. Thank you. But then we have, do you love me like I love you? So this person is going back and forth in their head sorry, about like, you know, your level of love, how you really feel. They don't really, you know, they question it. They feel like they feel you. They feel that they feel the love that you're sending. But then they go back into this. Do you really love me like I love you? But I feel like, you know, to be fair, this person really has not shown, you know, that really how they truly feel about you, Pile One. I'm getting this energy that, you know, you really don't know how this person feels. This person has not made it clear. They feel a whole lot inside, but they're not showing this side to you. Because we see here big dick energy and smoke and mirrors. And with that, the big dick energy, and this is regardless of gender, this could be a female. It doesn't have to be a man that has that energy. This is about energy. This is regardless of gender. So this person has that energy right now where they're really in their ego. They're feeling really, you know, big about whatever is going on and their ego is a bit out of control. It's not in check right now. They want to know what's going on with you. They feel like they don't really know what's going on with you. They're really thinking about you a lot, wondering what you're doing, wondering what you're up to. They're letting you know right now, you both are working through some past life drama. So if you are with someone else or this person is with someone else or even together, I'm feeling like the things that are happening right now, because we did this before, that's saying we've done this before in another lifetime. We've had this connection. We've had to go through these lessons. We've had to go through these challenges. The things that are happening right now in your lives, you've done this before. So you're prepared to handle this because you've been through this before. But this is past life karma that you guys are both working through right now. This person is saying that they see you shining. They see you doing well. They see you taking care of yourself. They see whatever it is you're doing, you know, for work or your career, whatever's happening in your life that this person is aware of, they see you shining and they're proud of you. So they're proud of the things that you're doing. This person also wants you to know that right now in their life, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Whatever it is that you see or think that's going on in their life is smoke and mirrors. It's not really true. You know, they may be portraying to be living their best life, but they're really not. You know, as we see, this person is dealing with some problems with their family or, you know, heartbreak, grief, relationship issues. So whatever it is that you see, don't believe because it's all not true. This person feels like you're driving them crazy. Again, it's a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of thinking about you overwhelmingly on and on and on. So these type of thoughts drive them crazy. And when they don't really know what's going on with you, when they don't really know what's happening in your world, that drives them even more crazy because their mind wanders off to start to think of so many different things because we did see that, that jealousy possessive energy. So, you know, they may be thinking that you're with someone else. They may be thinking that, you know, you're doing all kinds of stuff, even though you're probably not. But this person, because that's where their mind goes, you know, that's the type of energy that they have when it comes to you. Their mind is going to go to those places. They're also saying that they see God in you. They see, you know, they feel like you have a beautiful soul. They really are in love with you. And they're letting you know that it was not you. It was them. They were the ones that, you know, had the issue or they couldn't be honest with you or, you know, they didn't have the clarity or whatever was going on with them. You know, they're letting you know that it wasn't you. It was them. Okay, so let's get your oracles out. How one. I hope that was really helpful because there's a lot of love here and it's really beautiful, but I do see that in order for things to move forward, this person doesn't seem like they're ready. They need to love themselves more and really heal whatever's going on with them. But it also seems like they owe 
you know, you and this person, you guys need to have a conversation or something needs to happen even for a new beginning to even happen. Okay, so we have release 27, which reduces to the number nine. We have realization number three. And then we have discernment 10. Okay. Pours energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. Star Brothers. Child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. And called. Soul gifts and training is time to step up. How can I be more flexible right now? To whom am I comparing myself? To whom am I comparing myself right now? And am I in my head or in my heart? That's so funny. <laughs> wow. Especially with this reading. Okay, so you know, this could be a mirroring and mirroring energy here this is what i was just saying if, especially if this is a high level of spiritual connection there's a lot of mirroring going on so you could be also you know in your head about this connection not in your heart space a little too, you know overthinking you may be overthinking the situation or you know, you may be wondering what's going on with this person. Like I said, this could be a lot of mirroring going on. So you're being asked to come into your heart space and come out of your head space. Because we do see here that with this discernment um, image here, it's like her head is clouded. Right now, it's, you have to get into your heart space. Connecting more with your heart, your inner guidance, your intuition. You know, that's going to make the path clear. Because we do see some realization. So something is coming forward. Some type of truth is going to be revealed. You may be getting ready to go through another awakening. Something is getting ready to be revealed where it's going to open up a lot for you, Pile One. And it's going to make the things are going to get clear for you. Because I feel for many of you, I don't feel that this is like a like you can't see what's happening. Or like you're clouded or your judgment is clouded. For some of you, your judgment could be clouded right now. And you need to pay attention to what your body is telling you. What your intuition, what your gut, what your heart tells you. But for some of you, I feel like you're in this place of you just really, it's not, things are just not clear. Like things are very mysterious. You don't really know what's happening next. Each day is something new. You can't, you don't really know what's next. Okay. And that's what I'm hearing. That's what this is supposed to be right now. And you need to know that you are protected. You are safe. You are protected through this path right now, through this cycle, through this energy. We have uh, God, Horus here. This is Horus energy coming through to let you know that you are protected and you are safe. So you could trust this path that you're on. But something is getting ready to be illuminated. And the path is going to be a lot clearer. But you have to continue to trust yourself. You have to continue to trust yourself through this process. Trust your judgment. Trust your discernment. Trust what your body shows you, tells you what is being revealed. You're being asked to be flexible right now. Be more flexible with things in life. Things don't have to be so rigid. Um, I'm also hearing yoga will be really good for you right now. Stretching and movement. Also, what are you being asked to release? Are you being asked to release control? Are you being asked to release resentment or bitterness? You know, do you have resentment toward this person? You know, anything that you feel like you need to release is no longer serving you. This is the time to do it. You no longer need to hold on to those things. Release it so you could transform and transmute. Because right now you are moving through a cycle of karma. We saw that with that past life drama. The things that are happening right now in your life, this is past life karma you and this person are working through so right now you're being asked to continue to release to transform you are very gifted okay you are very gifted pile one you have a lot of different beautiful gifts you have a beautiful soul 
you are a person that is being called to step up to lead, to lead in leadership because you have the intelligence of the universe within you. You are divine. You have a lot of gifts. You are a divine channel. So right now, how are you being called to step up and lead? How can you lead? How can you be more flexible? And right now, are you comparing yourself to others? You know, are you, you know, comparing your life, comparing your journey, comparing your story with others? Or are you leading your own movie? Are you the star of your own movie and just letting things unfold the way that they should? Or are you taking too much time to look at what everyone else is doing? So focus in on you, focus in on your journey, okay? You are special, you are divine, you have a lot of gifts, you are here to do amazing things, you are called to do amazing things. So just come out of your head and get into your heart. I really hope that helps Pile One. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Please like the video, comment below, let me know how this resonated. Subscribe and join the Capital LOVE tribe. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next reading. I'm proud of you. Keep doing the work. Keep growing and glowing. Bye. Hi, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE tribe. I love you all so much. So grateful to have you here with me. I hope you're doing well. All right, pod two, we're going to get into it. What is in your person's head? We're going to start with these cards here. What is in your person's head? And then we're going to get to what is in your person's heart. Okay, so let's go. Pod two, what's in your person's head? Okay, we have the lovers in reverse. We have Four of Pentacles. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, let's get these other cards out. Some more tarot from another deck. Pile two, please. We have judgment. We have Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. How to all right let's get these let's get these cards we have bravery oceans number 30 which reduces to number three we have purity ice 33 which reduces to number six okay we also have adjustments are required and your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so, and that's full moon in Taurus. So how to, what's in your person's head? We see here, this person is very concerned about their work situation and money, okay? That's what's coming up pretty clear here. That's what's on their mind. I feel like this person is very much about their goals right now. They're very much about, you know, building their money, building their brand, building a business, um, whatever it is that they're trying to do right now in terms of making money, having money, um, being successful in the material world. This person may have, you know, had some setbacks in terms of money or for many of you, I feel like they're at the beginning of something, like they're starting something or they just recently started something. They may have recently started a business or they are starting a business. Um, this person, like I said, they're very concerned about their material world right now. They're very into their bag, figuring out things, learning. They're 
they're growing their knowledge base. You know, they're really focusing on self-improvement. This person is very focused on loving themselves, but loving themselves enough to know their worth. Okay, this person really wants to have a good handle on their level of self-worth, their self-value. This person is really thinking about being brave, really thinking about tackling obstacles, really taking leaps of faith. This person just wants the world. They want to have it all. This is like the type of energy where, you know, this is like, they want the world. They want everything that they want. They have a lot of desires. They're manifesting really heavy right now. And they realize that they have to make some adjustments in order to get what they want. So this person is very goal oriented right now. They're really putting in the work, whatever that looks like for them. Even though we see these cards came up in reverse, I do feel for many of you, this person is getting clear on their plan. They're getting clear on whatever it is that they need to do to make their goals happen. And they're very dedicated to their goals right now. They're very dedicated to obtaining whatever it is that they want. For some of you, this person... This person may, I, I'm just feeling an energy of, I don't want to say that their heart is cold, but because this is about their mind right now, but I just find it interesting that the ice card came up. I feel like this person, it's almost like the sleeping beast energy. I'm getting this energy of this person may have felt like they've been slept on before or people have slept on them or people don't even know who they really are. And this person is feeling like this beast is emerging. It's almost a transformative energy, especially with the judgment card here. I'm getting this energy of this person is getting ready to transform and level up again. You know, this person may have already been going through a lot of transformations, but it's almost like this person is sleeping, getting that plan together, getting that plan of action, you know, next steps, whatever it is that they have to do, they're getting it all together to transform because they're getting ready to take over the world. That's kind of like what's in their mind and whatever that looks like, whatever it is that they're doing. But I'm just saying the world because I'm keep looking at, you know, the earth right here. And this person you see in this image, this person is standing on top of the world. You know, this person is like, I do see here that this person has had a lot of dreams and hopes and desires from childhood. And this person, again, they may have felt slept on. They may have felt like, you know, people underestimated them or didn't always see their worth, didn't always see their value. So this person is really working on that. That's why the lover's card came up in reverse. This person is loving themselves. They realize that they need love. They need that level of self-love to get to where they want to be. They realize that. This person has a very um, clear understanding on how to make things happen. This person knows how to manifest. This is a master manifester here. This is someone that's not messing around. This is a person that understands how things work. They understand the universal laws. They understand law of attraction. They understand how things work all together to make things happen. So this person is putting a lot of their passion because we're going to get to the heart in a second because I do feel like the heart is going to tell us something totally different. So this person is feeling like, you know, that level of passion right now has to go to their work. Um, at least this is what's coming through in their headspace. They, this is what they're telling themselves in their headspace. Like they got to put that work in if they want this and that to happen is going to come from work and they're really clear on whatever it is that they need to do. And again, they're really taking the time to really love themselves and really have that level of self-worth that's necessary to go to the next level. Okay, so let's find out what's going on in their heart. So we have King of Pentacles. We also have the world, again, sitting on the world. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, how to, how to, how to came out. Okay, then we have the fool in reverse. And then we also have 
Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Let's just let's get some more cards out. For how to. How to. How to. How to. What's the person thinking in their heart? We have piles of coins. Page of Swords in Reverse. And we have Three of Coins or Three of Pentacles. Okay. All right, let's get these other cards out. We have Light Sun number six. We have Endurance Rock 20, and that reduces to number two. We got an extra card here. Wow. Companionship Animals 21, which reduces to number three. And then we have a Fiery Climax Approaches Full Moon in Aries. And we have time to take a breathe out. Okay, so. Whew, all right, this is a lot of energy here. Okay, so this is what I was saying, how I felt like their heart space was going to be different. And this is definitely different from the head space. Okay, so pal two. In your person, in their heart space. We do see here, again, there is this energy of making money making these goals happen this person is very goal oriented right now and i want to say here that you know these are transient energies okay energy is constantly changing it's constantly moving so what this person is feeling right now it doesn't have to be the case in another week or whatever no these are changing energies. This is just what's happening right now. This person is very focused on being, you know, um, this person wants to be very abundant in the material world. We have here King of Pentacles and the Palace of Coins, which is like, you know, Ten of Pentacles energy. You know, this person wants to be on top. They want to have the financial abundance. They want to have the financial security they want to have the freedom to be able to do whatever it is that they want to do in the world with no holds bar nothing holding them back you know this person may have dealt with financial hardship in the past or they may have dealt with like failed business ventures or i'm feeling like they dealt with failure before so they know how it feels to be at the bottom now they're really working hard to work themselves up to the top again they want to have it all they want to be on top of the world i don't really feel like it's like an ego maniac situation going on here like they're obsessed with power or obsessed with being obsessed with money or obsessed with being on top i don't feel that i feel it's basically like they just want to be able to do whatever it is that they want to do they want to have that freedom they want to have that financial freedom the material world freedom but they also want to show the world what they can do this person is very clear on what it is that they're here to do they're very clear on their mission they're clear on their path they're clear on what their purpose is. That's why we have the sun card here. They, they're facing north. They are on their path. So they're clear on their gifts and their talents of what they're here to do. And they want to show the world what they can do because that's what they're here to do. They want to show, it's almost like it's really beautiful. It's like they want to show the world their divine energy. Okay, they want to show the world all of their talents all of their abilities now when it comes to you as we can see you really weren't coming up too much when it came to their headspace because i do feel like again this person is kind of pushing away a lot of those thoughts right now to just kind of be focused on work and focus on what they're trying to do but i do see you coming up in their heart space and i see the coming up as this person is very passionate about you they're passionate about um where this connection can go with you 
what can happen. They feel very much like they don't really know what's going to happen next, but they're just flowing with this energy. They're flowing with how it feels. I'm getting this energy of this feels good right now or where I am right now, the space that I am in right now, this feels good. And this person has a way about them. This person is very spiritual. They're very in tune. They're very connected. So this person, I'm feeling a surrendered energy. I'm feeling this energy of let's just see what happens next. Let's not, you know, this person is thinking about the future in terms of like financially in the material world, but I'm getting this energy when they think about you, they're thinking of the future as like a, we'll just see what happens. We'll just see which way we're shown to go. Let's just live in a moment. Let's just enjoy it. This person is very passionate about having, this person is passionate about sharing their world with you. I feel like that's part of the reason why they want to, I feel like you are a main motivation in their quest to have, you know, this dominance in the material world, because I do see here that I feel this person wants to show you what they're capable of. Like, I feel this energy. Yes, they want to show like other people what they can do, but I feel like they really want to show you. You're like number one. They really, if you're not number one, you're like number two. You may be like behind like their their mom or dad or something like that, like their family. But you're really high up on the list of showing people, showing, you know, the capabilities of what they're here to do and how they can obtain all of this abundance by being who they are and using their gifts and showing the world their gifts. Like I said, this person is very aware of what they're here to do so and for some of you this could this person could be doing something with animals or they could have a special ability with animals like they may communicate with animals and communicate they may really like nature and things like that i'm also seeing here for some of you this person wants to work with you this person wants to collaborate with you and work with you on something because this person really does think that you know you and them working together would be a great partnership. They really do see this as something where you both can gain a lot of abundance from this. This person also wants companionship. This person, I'm feeling really strongly for many of you. Now, this is not going to be, let me not say many of you. This is not going to be for everyone. I feel that this person, for some of you, this person wants a friendship first. This person is definitely very passionate about you. I want to make that clear. I don't want you to think that this person isn't into you romantically. No, this person is into you romantically. This person, for some of you, this person wants to have a friendship first. They want to see how the friendship could go. And it's like a flowing, surrendered energy. I'm kind of just getting this energy of let's just see how a friendship could go. Let's see how that moves. Let's see, you know, what could come out of that. They see the potential of this connection. They see that this connection can be very abundant, emotionally and financially abundant for both of you. I'm seeing that very, you know, that this person feels that in their heart, but they're also in this place that they want to take it slow and they don't want anything to be ruined. They want to just flow. They want to just, you know, enjoy the moments without rushing. Enjoy, you know, enjoy that feeling of the passion because again this person is overwhelmed with passion for you we have the sun energy here so yeah so this person i feel that again they want to see it's almost like they want to take their time they don't want to rush anything they feel like you and them can be very solid very abundant they feel the chemistry they feel the passion they feel like you know they really enjoy your company they enjoy your companionship they are enjoying the energy exchange between both of you but it's like they don't want to rush anything they want to take their time they want to see where things can go they want to see what else is revealed they don't want to i'm feeling like you know this person may have had experiences in the past where things were rushed and then it kind of went to a place where it was disastrous or things could have been a lot better but because things were rushed and time wasn't taken properly they feel like that was, you know, not helpful for the connection. So this person wants to take their time with you. They want to really just enjoy you and then learn 
get to know you, learn you, work with you, see how just things flow. It's like a flow energy this person feels with you and it feels really good to them and they enjoy it. So it's kind of like they don't want to just rush anything. Although they have all this passion for you and it's very overwhelming. For some of you, this person may kind of go into a hermit mode or they may kind of feel like, you know, they need their time to, you know, to kind of pull back and just focus on themselves and focus on whatever it is that they have going on. And, you know, they don't want you to um, get upset or take it personally or take offense to, you know, things that they have going on because, again, they are very goal oriented right now. Okay, now we're going to use Tipsy Tiffs love messages deck if you would like to purchase this deck the link is below let's get some messages from them please be happy and take care of yourself i will never forget you i do not understand why and how you could love me It is okay to love someone else. Remember, pain is temporary. I enjoy the essence of you. Okay, so let's get some more messages and then we're gonna just do it all together. How to please, how to. Okay, immature, no shadows. Okay, I'm gonna explain this. Stuck on you. Ex, drama and foolishness. Trust yourself more. Okay, we have please help me, karmic hell, pray for me, and cold shoulder energy shift. Okay, so how to, I'm going to get one more, I feel like I need one more. Okay blackmail and betrayal and you deserve love okay so pile two this person you know they're coming through saying they don't understand how you could love them so they feel like you know this connection they just feel like this is really interesting <laughs> this really took a turn with these last cards that came out okay so you know, this person, this is what I was saying, that they're trying to love themselves more. They're trying to, you know, they really do realize that they have to find more self-love for themselves, okay? They really do see that. And so this person, they're coming through saying that, you know, I feel that this person could be in pain. This person could be having some issues right now. Um, we do see here then this is not, some of these messages are not going to be for some of you, but we do see karmic hell, pray for me. So this person is dealing with a lot of karma right now and they're asking help twice. You know, they're saying, you know, you need to trust yourself more, but they're saying, please help me. Now you take that, how that resonates. When I wrote that, it could be taken as energetically. You help that person by like just sending them love or praying for them, or you could reach out. Or, you know, however that goes for you. Or if the person reaches out, you can talk to them. So, you know, you just take what resonates. But this person is dealing with a lot of karma. For some of you, they're dealing with an ex. They're going through drama and foolishness with an ex. Um, they're dealing with blackmail and betrayal. So someone could be trying to blackmail them or betray them right now. Um, this person is having a hard time looking at their shadows. They're having a hard time with looking at themselves in the mirror trying to see exactly you know um who they are and what what's going on what's going on in their life they are stuck on you even when they try to 
you know, move forward. They, they feel stuck on you. They don't want to, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you and what's going on with you. They're telling you that it is okay to love someone else. And they're saying that you deserve love. You deserve love. You are worthy of love. And, you know, I don't know if you are in pain or it's them that's in pain or both of you are in pain. But they're saying, remember, pain is temporary. Pain doesn't last forever. They're also saying, please be happy and take care of yourself. So they're saying, you know, if you move on, that's okay. They understand. They really don't understand how you could love them. And, you know, they do feel an energy shift between you. They feel a cold shoulder or things are just not the same. There is some type of energy shift that they are feeling and they're not really happy about it. But I don't see this person really coming forward and saying, you know, exactly what, you know, exactly what's going on or giving you a clear message. But, you know, they are really concerned about their work and their goals. And, you know, this person does realize that they need to work on their self-love. And they are going through a lot. You know, this person, this person is going through a lot of karma. And I do feel like it's with the relationships in their life. You know, people in their life, their relationships in their life. And, you know, it's really throwing them for a loop and they're really having a hard time with it. Okay, so let's get your oracles out. We have acceptance, number four. We have the void, number one. And then we have attraction, 44, and that reduces to number eight. There's a lot of fours here. We have four, four, four. So light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. Weight is not yet time. Things are being woven. And Mars, energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Am I focused on what I want most? What passion am I ready to pursue? And am I on the right path? Okay. So right now, some of you may be questioning your path right now. You may be feeling like you don't know if you're on the right path or, you know, questioning the next. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing, you know, some big decisions are coming up or, you know, you just don't really know what's going to happen next. So, you know, you may want to take that time. Right now is a time to reflect because with the void coming out, that's like the reflection, taking the time to rest, taking the time to go into hermit mode, to go within, to look at yourself, just cut the vices off, you know, take that time for yourself, you know, just be alone, have that reflective time to really get into your own emotions and your thoughts and really analyze things for what they are. Because you're being asked, what passions are you ready to pursue and are you really focused on what you want the most? So, you know, right now is the time. It's not the time to make decisions on things. It's saying wait is not yet time. Things are being woven. So whatever that means to you, whatever's popping in your head right now, that's what's being woven. You may need to hold off. You may need to wait. You may need to take your time with certain decisions and not make that decisions not make that decision right now. Right now, I do see you have a lot of passion. You have a lot of attraction, passion. You may um, be feeling very energized, very charged up, but you may also have some anger. And so right now it's the time for you to kind of redirect that anger or redirect that passion and redirect that energy to put it into something that you're passionate about. Really use that to your advantage to create and manifest whatever it is you want, because you have a lot of that sacral chakra energy to really create you know that's creation energy so you have a lot of that energy to create what you want but it's about figuring out taking that time 
to really be by yourself and reflect and really focus on what you want so you can get on the right path. You are being activated right now. You are going through another awakening and it's an activation. And so again, rest is going to be really important for you right now. Even if you do feel really charged up, exercise, move your body so you can get that energy out. So when it's time to go to sleep, you can go to sleep. You can rest. You can rest comfortably. You can really give your body that rest that it needs. But you're going to have to um, make time to move your body and to exercise to really get that energy moving as well. And right now, you're also being asked to accept things, to surrender and accept. Things may not be perfect. Things may not be exactly the way you want. But surrender and surrender to the higher power and know that everything is working out for your highest good. You're also being asked to accept yourself right now, accept yourself through this transformation and the changes that are occurring and trust this process. The more you surrender and accept, the more you can trust this process and move forward. So I really hope that helps, Paul, too. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you all so much. I'm proud of you. Keep doing the work. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Join the Capital LVE tribe. Please um, comment below. Let me know if that resonated. And I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye. Hi, Pal 3. Thank you all so much. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back to the Capital LVE tribe. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're well. All right, let's get into it, pile three. What's going on in your person's head? What do you need to know? What's going on in your person's head, pile three? We have eight of cups in reverse. We have we have the mirror in reverse. Let me show you this upright. So I guess this is like, this isn't the world, but I don't know. So I guess the bones card in this deck. And then we have Queen of Cups. Okay. Let me pull from this other deck. Get some more tarot out. Pile three, what's in your person's head? Pile three, what's in your person's head? Okay, so we have Page of Cups. And then we have Page of Pentacles in Reverse. And then we have the Hermit. All right, let's get these other cards. We have Adventure, number two. Music, 28, number 10. And we have You Are Good Enough, Full Moon in Virgo. It's Virgo season two. Happy birthday to the Virgos. Shout out to Virgos. Happy birthday. And your commitment is being tested. Okay, so in this person's head, pal three. It's interesting how the hermit came out upright. Because I was feeling like, when, especially when I saw adventure, I feel like your person is ready for some excitement. They're ready for some adventure. Um, I feel like for some of you, this person may be getting a little too much alone time. Um, they may be a little to themselves a little too much. And they need to do something to mix it up. This person to me is like, they may be thinking about um, adventure, travel, doing something fun. Um, I definitely see that they want to do something with you. They would like to have some fun with you. They would like, like that is in their mind, you know, hanging out with you doing something, you know, out of the ordinary or just something really fun. I'm getting the energy of just like a random get together, like you and them just, I don't know, go for like a road trip or, 
you know, go to like an amusement park or just do something that is kind of like something that you and them would not do or, you know, something out of the norm. Maybe go to the beach, just something different. This person is connecting with you through music. They are, you know, feeling that your energy through music, you know, they're feeling your energy, your vibe. They think about you when they listen to certain songs. This person realizes that there is a test of faith with this connection. This is what's on their mind. They feel like their faith is being tested. They feel like, you know, their commitment to this connection is definitely being tested. This person, I see that this person has, you know, may have reached out to you or um, you may have received a message from them. Or if you haven't, this person has thought about receiving thought about sending you a message for some of you this person feels like you know they have walked away or they thought about walking away from you or forgetting about this connection but I'm getting this energy of you know I don't want to I don't want to say stuck although that's kind of like how this looks in this picture I don't want to say stuck, but it's kind of just like when they try to move on, they can't. That's like what I'm getting. Like they may have tried to move on. They may have tried to like, you know, forget about this connection, move forward. They may have even tried to date other people and things just, you know, they can't seem to really let this connection go. That's like the energy that I'm getting. And I do see for some of you, this person is getting a little bored. They're getting, they're feeling like, okay. Um, they want something new. They want something different. They want something fresh. Like I said, this person may be getting a little too much alone time. They may be a little to themselves, a little too much, and they need to mix it up and do something different and do something fun. So that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting. They really want to have some fun with you. This person is definitely, even though, um, this person knows that they are in love with you. Okay, because we have the Queen of Cups here. This person knows that they are in love with you and they do, they realize that they are in love with you. They, even if it's like they try not to think about it, they know that it's there and they know that that's a part of the truth that, you know, they are in love with you and they feel vulnerable. They feel like they can be vulnerable with you. They feel like they can be vulnerable. They feel like they can be honest with you. For many of you, this person I feel wants to have that opportunity with you, but they are realizing that, you know, that's not something that can happen right now. This could be a twin flame connection because we do have the mirror here. If not, I am getting a spiritual connection here, high level soulmate. So, you know, this, this person acknowledges that they feel like you are their mirror. They feel like you are showing them what they need to know to move forward with their journey. They feel like some of the things that you show them is a little... It could be a little overwhelming. It could be a little intense. It could be a bit harsh, but they're feeling like, you know, they realize that that's what they need because they are still working on their self-worth. They're working on their sense of um, their self-worth, their value. You know, they're reaffirming themselves that they are good enough. They're working on their, their confidence. And they're really trying to, they're on that journey of self-improvement. But I do see here this person, I feel like they want to have some fun. I feel like they do want to, they are thinking about some ways to just kind of like do things out of the ordinary or be spontaneous or, you know, those are the things that are on their mind right now. They want to, they feel a little antsy. They want to just do something and have some fun. Okay, so let's get some more cards. What is in their heart? Spirit, what is in Pile 3 person, their heart? Pile 3, Pile 3. So we have Seven of Pentacles. We also have Three of Pentacles. And then we have the tower. This is so funny. I feel like some of these cards came out. I forget what pile that was. Maybe it was pile one. Yeah, it's pile one. 
So let's see what else, because you may want to watch Pile One. Maybe some more messages there for you. Pile Three, what's in their person's heart? Pile Three. Okay, so we have Nine of Pentacles. We have Three of Cups in reverse. And then we have we have four of pentacles. So, okay, let me get the rest of the cards off before we start talking about it. Okay, we also have growth plants nineteen, which reduces to ten, or reduces to number one. And then we have Desert 13, which reduces to number four. And Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon and Pisces, and Prosperity Lies Ahead. Okay, so, you know, this person is it's clearly thinking about their desires and they have a lot of desires and I do feel like this person is really trying to manifest. This person is really into right now the material world or like, you know, they're into, you know, making money. Um, they're into their goals right now. They're into really doing the things that they need to do to level up and expand, expand their business and really make the money that, you know, they feel they deserve, they feel that they should have. This person, I do see here, there is a loneliness energy here that's in their heart um, because we do have that desert and it's like that solitary energy. So this is going back to, again, with that hermit energy. This person, um, especially too with, um, okay, pile three. Sorry about that. So this person, I do feel a loneliness energy here. I do see here that this person, you know, especially with this, you know, this person, especially in their quiet moments, they may get sad. They may feel lonely. They may feel like I'm getting that energy of again, like, you know, they try to move on, but something keeps bringing them back. Um, something keeps driving them back to this connection. And even again, when they try to move forward, you know, they, I don't know, something changes up and then here it is, they're back with it again. So this person, for some of you, they do want to work with you. They do want to collaborate with you and work together. They are, that is something that they feel in their heart. They feel like, you know, working with you, collaborating with you could bring about a lot of growth and abundance. I do feel here, I don't know, I feel like something has gone on between you and this person where this person feels again, like I said, it's like that energy of I want to walk away, but I stay. I want to move on, but I keep coming back. So this person is kind of feeling like there there are some illusions in this connection or they don't quite know what exactly is going on or someone is wearing a mask. Something happened. Someone's not being honest. Someone is not being truthful. So, you know, this person is, you know, feeling that energy, feeling like, you know, what's the truth, what's not the truth. Because this person does do a great deal of meditating and reflecting and contemplating. And so I feel that this person is trying to really see things for what they are and really see the truth of the situation. And, you know, they really do... They really just, I feel that they just want to know. They, they, they really look within. They really look within for the answers and for whatever it is that they need to know moving forward. You know, they really tune into their inner guidance and tune into the things that they need to know. So this person, for some of you, they could have just gone through another awakening or they had some type of, you know, epiphany. Uh, something has happened to make them really kind of like shift their focus back to themselves, back to like their goals, back to like, 
you know, their future and being prosperous and growing, even if they do feel alone, even if they are alone a lot, even if they don't really, um, they're just kind of like on their own page and just doing their own thing, you know, they are shifting their focus to themselves and shifting their focus to their goals and being prosperous, okay? That is a huge focus for them right now. I feel like for some of you, this person may be even, you know, especially with this image again, you know, they may even be grieving this connection or just feeling like it's all lost or feeling like, you know, there is, there's not much hope for this connection because I do see here that they do feel you know, this person really kind of like admires you and really looks up to you, um, pile three, and they really do feel like you are the perfect package. But I feel like there's either like a missed opportunity or someone just hasn't been honest or both of you haven't been honest. And this person is just feeling like they don't know what's really in store next for this connection. And it's just kind of like a lot of uncertainty. So it's kind of like, this person is just kind of feeling like, okay, instead of me, you know, kind of staying in that energy, they're like, you know, instead of them staying in that energy, instead of them feeling like, you know, keep kind of going over those same thoughts and ideas, they're putting that shift, they're shifting the focus back to them. They're shifting that energy, the focus to their goals, to whatever it is they're trying to do in the material world, okay? So this is what this person is feeling in their heart space. And it's kind of like, you know, it's also like that self-love and self-worth energy as well. They're kind of like, you know, if I put that focus back on me and what it is I want to do, that's going to feel good. That's going to help me moving forward. You know, the connection is what it's going to be or whatever it is, it'll be revealed. But, you know, they can focus on that and really see the growth and really see the abundance. Okay, so let's get these other cards out. So we're going to use Tipsy Tiff's love messages. If you would like to purchase this deck, the link is below. Okay. I am in love with multiple people. I release you. My soul finds you in every lifetime. I feel safe with you. It is okay to let go. And it is time to show the world who you are. Okay. All right. We're going to get these other cards out. Let me just get this straight. Okay. Let's get these other cards out. How three more messages. You drive me crazy. Favorite songs. I think we didn't we see music. So music is important for this group. I think we saw other messages about that. Healing hermit mode. Love, war, and scars. Saved pics and messages. Okay, let's get a couple more. Money woes. It's my fault. I apologize. I can see clearly. And then we have blame game. Okay, so th this really got interesting. I mean, <laughs> this really got interesting. Wow. Okay, how three. I mean, this just seemed like this just continues to take all these different twists and turns. So this person is coming through saying that they're in love. And th okay, I want to just say this. Not every message is not going to be for everyone, okay? So you really do need to use your intuition and discernment to take what resonates for you because there are multiple messages here and a lot of different situations going on that are really being uncovered now. 
because I feel like this person, this is a layered individual, you know, it, it takes a while to pull these layers back because as we see each set of cards is going deeper and deeper. With the other piles, it was kind of like, um, you know, the cards kind of showed the same for each one. It was reaffirming. This is like more messages continue to come out. Like if I was doing an extended reading, this would probably be so popping, but I'm not, I'm sorry. But I'm just kind of like, just trying to show you an example of like how these cards continue to get deeper. This person is very deep, but it takes a while to penetrate, to get through to these messages, to get all of what this person really wants to say. Although this person does want to be vulnerable with you because we did see that in the earlier cards. Like this person actually, like I feel safe with you. This person feels safe. This person feels like they could be vulnerable with you. They feel like that they can, you know, talk to you, be open and honest. They want to be open and honest with you. That's something that this person wants to do. This is something that this person thinks about. It's not even just in their heart. They actually think about that. But this person is saying for some of you, with this I am in love with multiple people, I'm feeling the energy this person could be dating, this person could be in love with someone else, and in love with you, because I do feel like they are in love with you. Um, you know, I definitely feel that they are in love with you, but they could be in love with someone else at the same time, or they could be in love with, you know, two other people, three other people at the same time. You know, this person is just being honest. They're also saying that for some of you, they release you. So, you know, this is what I was saying in that other card that we saw where it's like this person, you know, and this could be you too. I just want to say that this could be your energy. So, you know, you take what resonates, but there was the energy of leaving, coming back, letting go, coming back or trying to move on, but still feeling that they're stuck. And so, and I also got that missed opportunity. So, you know, that energy is here. So if it's a situation where, you know, you've been in a breakup, makeup cycle with this person, this person is now saying that they release you. They want to move forward. They want to just let go. And, you know, that you could take that for what you think it is. That doesn't mean that this person wants to move on with someone else. They could, but they don't have to. You know, this person could be just saying that they're letting you go because they realize that this going back and forth is not healthy and it's not, you know, going to help move anything. Okay. So I do feel that for many of you that this person wants to let that pattern and that cycle of in and out back and forth, you know, together for a little bit, break up together again, they want to let that go. So that's what it is okay to let go is telling me. This person is saying that they find your soul in every lifetime. You know, they always recognize your soul. They always know who you are to them. They always know the truth of this connection. They're saying that they want you to show the world who you really are. Show the world the real you. Show the world what the world needs to see from you and shine your light, shine your authentic light, be who you are. They're also saying that, you know, you drive them crazy. They think about you all the time. You know, you are on their mind a lot. This whole, you know, if this is a back and forth situation, the back and forth situation is driving them crazy. And, you know, is it can feel like a lot. This person, you know, music again, this is how they connect with you. So they're listening to you guys' favorite songs or, you know, their favorite songs that make them think about you. They're listening to some songs that really help them to connect with you and to connect with your soul. This person is saying that they're tired of the love war and they have scars. So, you know, this could be, again, you and this person back and forth that, you know, arguing, make up sex, break up again, arguing, back together. You know, they're saying that this back and forth, this love war has given them scars and they're healing that. They're healing that. They're healing the pain. They're healing uh, the energy, this back and forth energy. They are healing all of that. And that's what they're doing in hermit mode right now. They could also be healing their scars from past relationships as well. They're saying that they have your picture saved. They have messages saved that you to share between each other. For some of you, this person is having money issues. 
So they're having some concerns about their money right now. And they're really working on that as well. They're trying to get that stable and, you know, feel good about the money that's coming in. They're also apologizing. They're apologizing for their behavior. They're saying it's their fault. They didn't mean to hurt you. They didn't mean to cause the pain. They didn't mean to do the things that they did. They're also saying they're tired of playing the blame game. They're tired of you know, feeling like they are to blame, then you are to blame, and then they blame you and you blame them. So they're tired of this cycle, you know, and that's what I was saying where I said, I release you and it is okay to let go. I feel like they're releasing that energy. For some of you, you may be feeling like, especially if this is a high level connection, you may be feeling like, okay, you know, this is just something we're going through right now, but we both need to take a step away. We both need to heal. And then let's see if we could come back together. So this person is releasing that energy. They're releasing that cycle. They're releasing that back and forth, back and forth, you know, blaming each other, arguing, all these issues, and then, you know, we're back together again. They don't want to keep being in that energy. So whether this connection will have a new start, a new beginning, you know, who knows? But this person is just saying they're releasing that part of this, you know, and if you feel like they're releasing you, then that's for you. But I, for many of you, I really don't feel that. I feel like they want to release this energy and release this cycle. And that's what they're doing while they're healing. And they're healing the scars, the wounds, the hurt, the pain. And, you know, they can see clearly, for many of you, they can see clearly, they can see their fault, they can see the issues that they've caused, they can see the problems that have occurred in this connection because of some of the things that they've said or they've done. So they're acknowledging that and they're healing that as well. Whew, this is really deep. So, yeah, this got really deep, Pile 3. I feel like, um, you know, in this connection... I feel like for many of you, this is a high level spiritual connection and that came up for pile one. So you may want to watch pile one, but, um, I feel like for this connection, pile three is kind of just like, you know, like I said, this person is layered, you know, they're not going to, it's going to take you, you know, a little bit for you to really get a lot out of this person because this person is not going to easily open up and be honest about their feelings, although they want to be vulnerable, it's still going to really take them feeling safe, which they say that they do feel safe with you, which is very important. But it's going to have to be like if this connection is going to start again, you know, there would need to be some conversations, some safe conversations, and really building that friendship because it's almost like this person may feel like some trust is gone or, you know, they're not really, they're not going to be able to really trust that this is going to be a new beginning. So you and this person will really need to work out that friendship piece and really build that trust again and really build that trust within each other to both feel safe and to move forward. Okay, so let's get your oracles out. We have the path number eight. And it's funny, this the other card that's similar to this came out for pile one. So yeah, watch pile one because honestly, you know what? Pile one may be your extended to this pile three, honestly. What I was just saying, how the emotions keep going deeper. Pile one, watch pile one. Okay, we have resistance, 25, which reduces to number seven. And new moon beginnings, number two. Okay, birth and creations, tapestry of life, expression. Portal, doors are opening, you decide, rewards, wild cards. You're not for everyone, embrace your weirdness, face your true north. Yeah, definitely watch Pile One. It's, it's funny. I definitely feel like power one is your extended. It's extending on what we were just doing. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? How can I deepen my trust right now? And am I focused on what I am gain? I am losing or gaining? Okay. So power three. 
Whew. Okay, you have a new beginning coming in, but this new beginning is going to be, I'm hearing this very specifically for many of you. This new beginning is going to be dependent on this wild card energy and your ability to take the leap of faith. You're going to be asked to take the leap of faith because you're going to be, it's really the rewards are going to be in your hands. It's really going to be a situation where you will win regardless, but the rewards, the greater the reward, you get a greater reward when you take a the biggest leap of faith you could take. You know, when you start really climbing on this journey, when you really start rising up, you're going to have leaps of faith all the time. But like, what is the saying? The greater the risk, the better the reward or something like that. That's like the energy I'm getting. Like it's going to be levels to that leap of faith that you're going to take. But the the huge leap of faith that you take will really give you the... Um, the return that you want, the outcome that you want, it'll be, the outcome will be even better than what you had hoped or desired. Like that's how beautiful it's going to be. Whatever it is that you can consider to be your greatest outcome will supersede because the universe wants to surprise you. Okay. And it's going to be up to you. It's going to be wild card energy. It's going to be a serious risk, a serious gamble, but whatever you do is going to pay off. But the intensity of the reward is going to be dependent on you, pal three. So the new beginning is here, but you have to remember that you're not for everyone. Embrace the unique qualities that you have. Embrace what people may think is weird. Embrace, you know, who you are and really accept it. Your person even came through and they even said to you, it's time for you to show the world the real you. Show the world who you really are and don't be ashamed of that. Walk in your light, walk in your divinity. Don't dim your light. Don't change yourself for anyone. Show the world the real you and really embrace who you are because you are not for everyone. You are unique, but you are exactly who you're meant to be and it's just time for you to accept it. The more you love and accept yourself, the more other people will love and accept you. Okay? Don't resist this... Um, this transformation is trying to happen, okay? Because a new, you are birthing now something new. You're birthing a new way of life. You're birthing, you're creating something new. You're creating a new beginning. Don't resist it, okay? Don't, you know, growth is happening. Don't resist the growth. Don't resist the change. Don't resist what's happening for you. Okay, so you also need to look at what are you, your focus needs to be on what are you losing or what are you gaining? Or it says, am I focused on what I'm losing or gaining? So when you look at like whatever it is you're going to have to take the um, leap of faith on, really look at what you are gaining, okay? It's not about what you're losing. Like if the leap of faith is, I don't know, um, it could be even be with this person, you know, because again, if you and this person broke up or whatever the situation was and you feel like you want to start again with this person, that could be a leap of faith for you. So if you say you want to start again with this person, you need to be looking at what you're gaining and not what you were losing. If it's a situation like you and this person were arguing or had issues about like social media or like, I don't know, you feel like, OK, if you really take the time to build a friendship with this person, you know, you have to cut other people off. And this person, they'll know that they have to cut other people off, too, because as we saw, this person is saying for some of you, they're in love with more than one person. So you are one of the people that they're in love with, but they may be in love with someone else, too. So, you know, look at what you would be gaining and not what you were losing. OK, don't look at like, oh, you can't, you know, date anymore. Oh, you can't do this and that. You have to look at like what you were gaining. If this is the person that you really want to invest in and see where things can go, you have to look at it from that perspective. Do I surround my people with pe Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? So you're being asked again to really evaluate the people in your life, really look at the people in your life. Do they lift you up? Do they tear you down? Are they really around for your highest good? Or are they just around for whatever it is you could do for them? And, you know, are you surrounding yourself with people who are, you know, about self-improvement, who are about raising their energy, raising their vibration, helping humanity? 
How can you deepen your trust right now? So just like with pile one, which I really hope you watch pile three, just like with pile one, I believe it was the same energy of like um, trust and faith, like the commitment and the faith is being tested for pile one as well. So, you know, with this pile, the same thing. How can you deepen your trust? How can you trust more? How can you trust yourself more? How can you trust the higher power more? How can you just deepen your trust? You have to surrender and let go even more. Continue to let go and know that things are happening for your highest good. But taking that inspired, aligned action when you are told to do so and trusting that. Trusting what you are being told to do. Trusting that when you are told to do this, to take this leap of faith, to do this, or it may not even be put in those terms of a leap of faith, but if you're told to do this and do that, trust that it's like, okay, I'm trusting what I've been told to do, trust myself and do it. Because it's time for you to get on the path. Like you're looking right at the path. You know, doors are opening for this path, a new beginning, a pathway to wherever, you know, for you to get on your path, you to get in alignment with your purpose. It's like this woman is looking at the ladder, but she's trying to decide if she wants to climb the ladder. And you may not be able to see where you're going. You may not know what's ahead of you. It may be dark. You may not really know what's next. And that's about surrendering, letting go of that control, letting go of the need to control, surrender and let it go and just see what happens, you know, see what happens next. But I really hope that helps pile three. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here with me today. Please like the video, comment below, let me know how that resonated, subscribe, and join the Capital LLVE tribe. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.